Well, lawmakers are getting down to the dirty work now of cleaning up the state's financial mess. Today, senators and representatives met with the governor's finance team for the first time since both parties released their budget blueprints. News 13's Katie Kim is live in Santa Fe with the very latest. Katie. Dean, the legislature is taking its first few steps in the opening days of the session to tackle the $5.4 billion budget. Now, today's meeting was an opportunity for lawmakers to get familiar with some of the proposals on the table. Both the Legislative Finance Committee and the governor's recommendations had many similarities, but there is a $42 million difference between the two. Both budgets call for cuts to K-12, through higher education, and public employee take-home pay. The governor's office also went after the film tax subsidy. The LFC budget did not. Governor Susana Martinez wants to reduce the subsidy from 25 percent to 15 percent. But given her strong stance on no new taxes, some legislators questioned whether scaling back the film tax program was a tax increase. Martinez's chief economist says it's not. Oh, the old saying is if it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, it must be a duck. So if something looks like a tax increase, it probably is a tax increase. We would argue that's not a tax. That is a subsidy for one particular industry. Finance Secretary-designate Richard May echoed Martinez's mantra, saying new Mexicans aren't undertaxed. The government has overspent. If that's the case, lawmakers say all the state's tax credits must be examined as the legislature moves forward to make painful cuts. And we need to be looking at them and seeing what they do. Are they really necessary? Uh, or have they lived their lifespan? The governor and legislature say all departments, agencies, and programs must share the burden in turning the state around. They're both committed to protecting core services like education and Medicaid. Dean, back to you. All right, Katie, thank you very much. Katie Kim live in Santa Fe Force. Today's meeting will be the first of many, and for up to the minute coverage of what's going on around the Roundhouse, go to krqe.com and click on the politics page.